Mother's Friend, where are you? It's time for the show, Professor Sprout. See, I'm over here. I hear you, Professor, but I can't see you. Where are you? you look a little closer. Closer. Right here. did you do that? Well, it's called camouflage, beehive. Camouflage? Ooh, like the military. No, not like the military. It's just one of the many ways that our living friends are able to adapt to their environment and survive. Ooh, sounds interesting. It is, and that is what today's episode is going to be about. So let's go and grow. that we are going to look at today are teeth and the way that animals are able to capture and eat their prey if it is prey. So there are three types. One group is the herbivores. Herbivores eat only plants. You can have a horse, a deer, and then a porcupine and a beaver. Another kind of consumer are the carnivores. They like to eat meat. We have a wolf skull, a mountain lion, and a dolphin. And the last one here today is called an omnivore, and in this case we have a bear skull. So let's take a little bit closer look. Let's start off with the herbivore first. First off, this one, the deer. If you can focus in on here, you can see that right here, these type of teeth are made specifically for grinding and chewing foods, such as plants and other things of that sort. So it allows this creature to chew its food. Another kind is the carnivore, and these teeth are quite different. In the front, we have these very large canine, very sharp teeth that they used to grab a hold of their, their prey. And then in the back, all of their teeth are very sharp, unlike the molars that we just saw in the deer. These ones are sharp, which allows them to shred the meat and flesh of the creature that they are eating. And then the last one, the omnivore, we have this bear skull, my favorite. The omnivore has both kinds of teeth because they can eat both plants and animals. In the front are the large canines used for grabbing and tearing, and then in the back are the flat molars that allow them to grind up their food. Oh, all the better to grind you with. <laughs> now, what we have here is a, a very neat species. This is the molars and lower jawbone of a mammoth. These molars are so large, and in a mammoth, it was a, an herbivore, which means it had teeth that were used for grinding. It's perfectly adapted for its diet. suited to survive in their environment. Oh. Yeah, so you just can't pick up a light and adapt or change. Hmm. Well, there goes my night vision, I guess. Well, 
And did you know that if uh, species don't evolve or adapt over time, then they become extinct? Ooh, extinct! I've heard of that word! Yes, yes, like our friend here, the dinosaur. The dinosaur! Oh, the dinosaur! Beehive! Beehive! Where, where are you? It's time to, time to end the show! Beehive! Beehive! Oh my goodness! Look at you! How did I do? Did I learn a lot about camouflage? You did! Oh. Thank you! Well, it was such a excellent. great show you had today! I learned so much about how to adapt! Well, well done! I'm glad you learned something! Well, thanks Professor Sprout! It's been a treat to be with you today. Indeed it has. Well, I'm Professor Sprout. And I'm Beehive. And tune in next time where we'll grow you more with some sweet